All right, how's it going, y'all? Today is my review of the Ingenious 8-Port PoE Switch, which is a new company that's trying to basically make those prosumer switches and Wi-Fi systems similar to what Unify is doing right now. And so it's a new cloud managed provider who's trying to give that prosumer ability to see all your traffic bandwidth, all from a very clean managed dashboard, much of the way that the Unify system is currently working. And they've recently started up and this is their eight port PoE switch. And so they did send me the switch for free, but other than that, there's no bias at all. There's no money change of hands or anything like that. They did just send me the switch for free and I don't have to send it back but it is a roughly $210 switch that is 8-port PoE. Now, 8-port PoE, not plus, which is unfortunate and actually quite interesting. I think originally the switch was set up to be PoE plus. You can even see on the box and even still on the website, the switch actually says PoE plus on it, but all the menu items do say the regular PoE, but on the actual box, I think they originally were planning on having it be a PoE plus switch. But then last minute, for whatever reason, after they had already designed the chassis and maybe even had it printed, they downgraded it down to PoE for whatever reason. And it's got a maximum PoE budget of 55 watts, which for a PoE switch that's only got eight ports is honestly probably enough. You're probably not going to be maxing this out unless you're really on the upper echelon of the maximum per port watts for every single one of them. And so it's actually a pretty good power budget, but I do wish it was PoE plus because there are a fair amount of devices, especially with Wi-Fi 6 becoming more popular, that are going to PoE+. Plus. Now, obviously the biggest contender for this is definitely the Unify system. You look at their dashboard, they're very similar. They're very much trying to get into the same market, that prosumer small business who just want something that works and don't wanna pay a monthly fee and things like that. And so honestly, that's who I've gotta compare this to. They've got very similar layer two plus features. Really, it's a direct competitor to the Unify eight port PoE switch. However, there is a big price difference between them, though also a slight feature difference. So the equivalent Unify switch, which is the eight port PoE switch, actually only has four PoE ports on it. However, those four PoE ports are all PoE plus. So it kind of depends on your use case. The other thing about this is this is a much more expensive switch than that switch. The Unify comes in at just over $100, while this switch is over $200. And so you could buy two of the Unify switches and get eight ports of PoE Plus with 16 total ports for the price of this switch right here. And so it is definitely not cheap. And so there are some features that do definitely differentiate it between the eight port PoE Unify switch, such as honestly just a lot better build quality here. It's a metal housing, it's very nice, it's got a grounding port. It is really a lot better build quality than the Unify is. And it also has a really interesting feature that I've not seen on a lot of PoE switches before, and that is right here. So this actually lets you click between showing the PoE status for every single one of these and showing the actual link status. So normally it'll show you the normal gigabit, 100 megabit link status on the two light LED indicators on top of every single port. But if you hit this, it'll actually show you who's drawing PoE power and see who's working. And I think that's a great feature and it's great for debugging because PoE devices, if they're not responding, you don't know if it's because they're not getting power or if it's because they're not getting a link for whatever reason. And so by doing this, you can see, hey, is it drawing power? Is it on? And that's actually an awesome feature that would really help with debugging. And so one other feature that really differentiates the setup between the Unify system and the Ingenious system is the fact that Unify requires you to self-host your own solution. On Unify, you actually have to host your own management software. Now they've got a lot of options here. You can set up in a virtual machine, you can set up on a computer, or you can actually buy built-in hardware. So all of their routers for the most part have the actual cloud management operating system on there. So you don't have to have a separate, separate VM running. And you can also buy just a really cheap little cloud key that plugs into your network and automatically just acts as the controller. However, with Ingenious, you don't have to have that. You actually can't have that. Everything actually goes to Ingenious's cloud and they handle all that for you. So you don't have to host it yourself. It's all automatically hosted for you. Now I said earlier that is both good and bad, depending on who you are and what your thoughts are on the future of Ingenious. So because they host it themselves, you are unable to do anything if they go under. So switch providers like this often will go under. And so if all of a sudden they no longer are in business, they're not paying the cloud bill. 
And so their services will also go down. And so you could lose functionality that you previously had because the company went out of business 10 years after you purchased the switches. Another thing is now you're taking out bandwidth, sending all that information up. It's not a lot, but it is something. And a lot of people want to keep that stuff on their network. They don't want that going out. And so Unify allows you to lock it down. Now there is some issues with the Unify and it automatically phoning home, even if you tell it not to. So that's one thing. But overall between the Switch and the Unify and Ingenious and Unify, there's really a difference on what you think. Now Ingenious is a company who's just starting out. So it's hard to tell what the future is with these companies, but overall it's actually got a nice management interface. And I'll be honest with you, it's a lot less buggy than Unify's. I actually quite like it and it did take me a little bit to get used to just like anything does but it seems a lot more stable. I love Unify, I do use a lot of Unify products, but you definitely sometimes will get some buggy firmware in there and they'll just have an update that pushes out to everybody and all of a sudden your systems are bricked and you're having to figure out how to downgrade the systems while you just want a router that works. And so as far as what I've seen with Ingenious, which is not a lot, it's really just this, everything seems to be pretty stable. I'm actually really interested in seeing the future of this company and honestly, we need more contenders in this market. I think they can really help push more features to consumers and honestly keep prices down. All right, well, that's gonna be it for this review. Overall, it's a pretty interesting switch and I actually really like it. I like the form factor, I like the setup of it and it just seems to be very well polished. Go ahead and leave any other products you'd like to see me review in the comments below and have a good one. Bye.